These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versta from VST Power Now, host and product physics media. We got a really great PS3 tutorial today. Basically, we're going to focus on the downgrade procedure, but specifically tips and tricks on what I did with my E3 flasher clip. So here, in this particular point in the video, I am downgrading a fat PS3 Slim. This is my second fat PS3 system to date. And we see that all the switches are down, one, two, three, four, five, six. I'm flashing over the patch dump. And the good news, guys, is I am doing this on the very first try. No errors. That's awesome. And I want to think that's because of all the things I've done over the last couple months with downgrading other consoles and just learning along the way. So this is more of a recap video, particularly for fat PS3 users, although it could apply to slim PS3 users as well, and how this whole procedure works. So before we get into the nitty gritty details, we see that we have successfully downgraded the fat PS3. I got the blinking lights left and right, left and right, which is awesome. So what I'm going to do right now is I can literally just turn this off. I'm going to turn it off right now. And then uh, we're good to go. I'm going to shut off the power in the back. So, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to readjust my camera here. I'm going to take apart, um, I'm going to move out this power supply, remove some of the screws here, and show you the setup that I did to secure my E3 flasher clip as a recap. I know I've done a video like this before in the past showing you how to fix the 1 triple zero one one zero zero error, but I decided since I'm downgrading the Fat PS3, a different unit, I thought it might be a good time to revisit this topic, especially for PS3 enthusiasts who have a fat PS3 and looking to jailbreak it. But there's not that many videos on YouTube talking about particularly the E3 flasher clip and how to make sure that is on secure and tight. So with that said, let's jump straight into the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. Okay, so what I've done so far is at the very bare minimum, when I was reassembling my fat PS3, I did these two screws here these two screws here and then I also did these two screws right here only and then also just in case with the power supply I also connected the ground connection wire right here right there and then also of course make sure you connect your fan connect your power connector here and then also do the other connector right here so what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and remove these a little bit better so I can pull these out and just as a recap, when you screw these in or screw these out, you want to make sure you do a little bit at a time. So one screw here, 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 and just keep them rotating until everything is loose. And we see that this is not cooperating too well. So let's go ahead and screw this some more. All right, let's do this next one. Okay, sorry for the delay. And then go ahead and do these two screws on the left-hand side. So I'm gonna do that. Make sure you don't lose these when you pull these out. So this is my second Fat PS3 that I've downgraded before. I've done a couple slims already since the very first time I did the Fat PS3 about, let's say about two years ago. So there's some things I learned along the way. Uh, of course, the fastest way to save some time is just do a minimum of those six screws, two here, two here, two here, this screw right here, power connector, power connections, excuse me. And then that's pretty much it. You don't have to mess around doing all the screws all around the perimeter. No need for that. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and, yeah, we can do this. I'm just going to lift this metal shield off. It's a little bit warm. That's okay. So this is what I end up doing. I did not use any coins. I did not use any foam. I just happen to have these uh, something like this. This is called a smart slider. Something I had at the hardware store in my closet for a long time here. And it turns out it's a really good thickness. What I end up doing was I cut this in half and I put one on top of the other. And you'll see that in a second here once I take apart this half PS3. Of course, if you don't have that, you can also use foam. You can use a combination of foam and coins and maybe tissue to give that proper pressure on your E3 flasher clip. And there's one more tip we're going to talk about in regards to the E3 flasher clip, and we'll get to that in a second. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead, take this off very carefully, and pull this out, E3 flasher. Okay, put that to the side. 
Now, this has been on for the last 10, 15 minutes. So the thermal paste should be pretty warm here. I should be able to easily pull it off. So cross your fingers. And yeah, we did it, cool. Okay, so here's the trick. This is what I did, guys. So, here's my E3 flasher. What I am doing was I put it in place first, and then I had some tape. The tape was just as a backup measure to keep it in place here, scotch tape. And then I, I took that um, slider piece, I cut it in half, and I put it across the top right here. And then what I also did was, you see, this is the way I bent my cable. So I sort of um, looped it, taped it right here, make sure it's not out of place. And then you want to make sure this part is facing upwards, so then when you turn it upside down, you can easily connect it to the rest of the E3 flasher. Okay, so that's that part, and we'll go back to that in a second because there's another tip I want to talk about. And then here on the motherboard, in this particular spot, that's where I put the other piece. Like I said, if you don't have this, uh, you can always use a substitute. Some guys on YouTube or whatever, they've used like a tissue paper, uh, folded a couple times, and they just sort of adjust it accordingly. So I think that's perfectly acceptable as well. So. Just uh, be creative with the tools you have around your house, for example. I'm sure you'll, you'll get it. The most important part is if you get any kind of errors. Wow, this is really stuck on now. Probably because of all the heat. Wow, that's really stuck on. See, look at that. So that's how much pressure it was on on top of this guy. So that's why it's probably a good idea I kept tape on top of here so that I could just pull this off. And I don't have to worry about um, that piece getting stuck to the E3 flasher, so to speak. And then let me just pull this off ever so gently because I don't want to get another E3 flasher clip because I broke it or something. And I'm going to put this to the side here. So here's the E3 flasher clip. Let's get into more detail here. I'm going to slowly pull off the scotch tape. Um, ever so gently. And here you can see that because of the immense pressure, it has left a new indentation on top of the E3 flasher clip. Before I had a quarter, and now you can see over time, look at this, the foam is, let me try to focus here. The foam is sort of squashed. I don't know how well that shows up in the camera here, but it is sort of dented. Now, one thing that you do want to note is when you put the E3 flasher clip on the motherboard, um, let's see if this is going to show up good or not. Come on, camera. There are particular IC components all around the chip here. So, the very first time I did my Fat PS3, I had a lot of errors assemble, disassemble, assemble, disassemble. And it turns out the trick is you got to shave down your E3 flasher clip. And by shaving it down, I mean you got to shave it down a lot. So let me take a screwdriver here as an example. So here's the E3 flasher clip. Try to focus here. And basically what I did was taking like a flathead screwdriver like this, take it on the edge and just rub it down. Like literally push into the plastic piece and shave it. Shave it on the right hand side and also shave it on the left hand side. There's going to be a groove here so it sort of guides you as you shave this down, okay? As you shave it down. But you want to make sure you don't shave too much because if you shave too much you might get into the actual contacts here and you might damage these, which you do not want to do. So I think that's the trick because I was able to successfully downgrade the Fat PS3 first try, no issues, and I really think it's because it's a combination of equal pressure on top of the flasher clip in conjunction with shaving it down on the right hand side and the left hand side as well and that's my tip sounds simple I wish if I knew about the shaving part when I first started a long time ago in my first console I probably wouldn't have so much frustration but now you know what that secret sauce is basically so if you guys have any other tips those guys who have downgraded PS3 so far with the fat, uh, by all means leave a comment on the YouTube page and share it with the rest of us. So that is today's video tutorial. It's pretty basic. I just want to talk about that E3 flasher clip process once again since I was doing another PS3 fat downgrade. 
And I thought it would be a good time to talk about it one more time. So you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.